With Gipper's video editor tool, it's never been easier to use your video files in your graphics. The editor is available on all of our video templates and it allows you to choose the clip you want to use, control your audio, and more. Let's take a look. Choose a video template and then select a video from your device that you'd like to use. When it loads, you'll see a new window pop up automatically. This is the video editor. The editor allows you to select the clip you'd like to use in your graphic and toggle audio on and off. Use the green sliders to adjust the length of your clip and drag either end to select a different portion of your video. The editor also allows you to control audio, so if you don't want audio in your clip, you can just turn that toggle right off. Our current functionality allows for a max video length of 8 seconds, but our editor allows you to select any 8 seconds from your video that you'd like to use. You can even make it less if you'd like. Once you're happy with your selection, just hit the Apply Changes button. You'll then be asked if you'd like to save this video as a new file or replace the original one. If you plan to reuse the original file or create new clips from it in the future, we recommend saving as a new file. The editor will close and then you'll be able to edit the rest of the template as normal. Don't forget that you can make further changes to the video itself. So if you want to crop it, make it larger to focus in on one action, or move it so that it follows the action better, you can. I'm going to do just that here. The video was framed a bit awkwardly in shooting, so I'm going to make some adjustments there, and I'm going to make sure that the action falls around the center of the graphic how I want it. I'll preview this a bunch of times to see if I'm getting close. From there, I'll just make additional edits to the graphic, colors, text, all of that jazz, and then download the file or post directly to social. Our video editor is also available in the gallery, which means that you don't need to be ready to create a graphic in order to upload and edit your videos. Upload as many video files as you'd like and create as many clips as you'll need for your graphics right in the gallery. That way, they're ready to drop into a template. I'm going to take this 40 second clip from Gotham FC, for example, and create a few clips that I might want. I'm going to grab one of the goals scored and another of the celebration that happens after. I'll keep the audio in both as well, since the cheering in it is phenomenal, although you could turn it off here if you'd like. I'll save both as new files, and you'll notice at the top that they get renamed with edited after the file name. I can always rename it myself by clicking the pencil icon in the top left corner. Now these clips are ready to use. I actually have a saved design using a clip from this video already, but I want to sub it for one of the new ones. So I'll just open up that saved design, then hit Browse Gallery and click on the celebration clip I just made. You can make additional edits if you need, otherwise you can close right out of the editor, and that's it. I've got a brand new video graphic ready for posting.